Welcome to the Forest of Arden, where today in this video I'm going to show you the three things that you need to do for a perfect downswing. So welcome back to the Forest of Arden on what is meant to be a summer's day in the UK. It's uh, not really looking like that, it's pretty cold, it's rainy, but we're here doing a video on the three things that I think are present in almost all good golfers downswings. We're gonna tell you what they are and how you can implement them into your game. So as you can imagine, the downswing is pretty important. We've all got to make a downswing and it really dictates kind of where that ball goes and how well we hit it. Now, there's lots of things that need to be in that downswing, but I've pulled out the three that I tend to see um, as a pattern in or amongst almost all of the good golfers. They all kind of do these things. So the first thing that we're going to talk about in this video and the first thing that you need to have in your downswing in order to play great golf and especially when we're talking about the iron clubs and striking well from the ground is there has to be a lateral movement towards the target or a pressure shift towards that lead side. So as I demonstrate that there you can see my hips and my pelvis moving towards the target. Now you'll notice I've got my Alignment Pro here um, and I've got this set up just outside my lead heel. And I don't necessarily need to get to that, but I can use that as a bit of a kind of visual guide or, a, um, you know, building a picture in my mind of what I'm trying to do. So as I complete my backswing, almost the first move we want is one where we kind of make this lateral movement towards that alignment stick. If we can get the pelvis moving in this fashion, we tend to get the pressure building on that lead side. And that's really, really important because that's what we can use through impact to start to rotate and extend, um, which can put some energy in the golf club. So the first thing you need to have in your dowsing in order to hit better golf shots is have some lateral movement towards the target or some good pressure shift towards the target. Now, the second thing that's present in almost all of good golfers' downswings is they have a good amount of rotation, which is often not present in the higher handicap golfers. So very, very common to see a high handicap golfer get to the top and as they swing down, they don't rotate or open up their body well enough. What we'll tend to see from the more elite golfers, the golfers who play the game, potentially the way we'd like to play the game, is they'll have a very, very good amount of rotation and the hips and the knees get back to what we're gonna class as square pretty early in that downswing. In most cases, there are exceptions to the rule. When my lead arm reaches around about sort of chest height or level the ground, the knees and the hips are gonna be pretty much back towards a square or neutral position. As we continue and I get towards this impact position, you're gonna see the lower body open, yet we see the shoulder angle pretty neutral to the target. The, upper body would be a little bit open, but the actual shoulder line looks very, very neutral. So it's not opening at the same rate, i.e. shoulders and hips turning at the same rate, but from the top, we need some amount of rotation in the knees, the hips, the lower body, and the torso in order to allow that golf club to be delivered in from a good position. Again, very, very common for golfers who struggle with the game to have under-rotated lower body, under-rotated upper body. They get very, very stuck at impact this way, and then we really find it difficult to stabilize that club face. The little exercise I'll have you do here is just take a golf club or alignment stick and actually just rehearse that movement. Get yourself back and just get that belt buckle starting to point back at the ball much sooner. And as you can probably imagine, we can link this very nicely to that first point, that pressure shift and that rotation go very much hand in hand and they really help me get myself into a good delivery position. The third thing that you will need to do in order to have a perfect downswing and hit those balls better, longer, further, all those things that we want, is really control how the trail arm moves in that downswing. The trail arm for me is really, really important. It's something that a lot of golfers unfortunately don't do as well as they could. Poor trail arm movement very often relates to poor club delivery position. So we often see the trail elbow moving in the incorrect way, the golf club gets very steep. From there, it becomes very difficult to deliver the club efficiently. So the trail arm needs to work very well. Now, because this is downswing video, we're gonna assume, as I'm sure is correct, that you've all got pretty good backswings. A good backswing for me means that this trail arm and the trail shoulder have been loaded correctly. What we need to do from here is maintain its position or its rotation as we start to work down towards the golf ball, as you can see I've done there. And at this point here, what we're looking to create is a, an image where the inside of the elbow is closer to the target than my hand or the golf club. It would not be uncommon to see a golfer at this point where we see this. 
where there's a big gap between the elbow and the side, the elbow is not closer to the target than my hand, and you'll see from the down the line that the golf club's moved very much out away from me. A few things are gonna happen. I'm gonna find I work the golf club very much across the golf ball, and I also lack power when I do this. Very much, we've all heard this analogy before, the kind of skimming of a stone, but that's really the image we're trying to create where we load this shoulder and we load this arm ready to deliver that golf club, or in that case, that analogy, the stone that we're gonna skim across the lake. So you'll notice the little exercise I did, which is perfect to feel this. You're gonna go up to the top. Lead hand is gonna hook under the trail elbow. And as we start to bump the hips, move the pressure, add that rotation, I'm able to work my trail arm into a great delivery position. Add my left hand back on, and now I'm in a superb position to really deliver that club efficiently, stabilize the face, create the power, all of those things that we wanna do down at impact, especially with those iron clubs when we're hitting the ball from the ground. So three things that really need to be present in your downswing if you're to really elevate your ball strike and elevate your game. As we said, there are other things as well, but these are the three things that generally the best golfers do so well. And if we can work towards those things, we're hopefully gonna help you move your game towards where they are as well. So let's go ahead and hit this six iron. Putting those three things in, good pressure shift, good rotation, trail arm in position. We should be able to hit a pretty decent shot doing that. And that wasn't bad, it might have been a touch heavy actually, it didn't feel as good as it could do off the face, but when you're working on drills, that's absolutely fine to do that. Hopefully on the course, we're gonna see some better results. Um, but hopefully those things were present, the pressure shift, the rotation, that trail arm, add those to your golf swing and you'll probably hit the ball much better than I did on that particular shot. I really hope that helps you play some better golf, enjoy your golf uh, and shoot some lower scores. Thanks for watching, usual stuff as always is below. There's a comments box down there, I'd love to get your thoughts on this video. The subscribe link is down there, as well as the one over here, which is clickable. We'd love to have you part of our channel, and together we can help you play some better golf. Thanks for watching.